guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about our topic in floors and slabs. Okay, so on our last video, we learned how to create a slab on grade. So this time around, we're going to learn how to add a concrete floor with steel decking. Alright, so let's do this. So I'm going to open the project browser and then I'll go to level 2. Go to the level 2. And then this is where we are going to create our uh, concrete floor. Okay, so let's go to the structure tab and then click the drop down arrow on our floor and then look for the structural. Okay, so you will now be going to the modify create floor boundary contextual tab. Okay, so let me just go first to the properties because from here, if you click the drop down arrow, you'll be able to see the different types of uh, floor that you can use okay so as you can see you can already select here the composite metal deck uh, concrete floor different types so let's say for example I'll be using the six inches concrete okay so I'll be using this one but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this type okay edit type to open the type properties dialog box okay and then this is the preview of the concrete this is the preview of the concrete and then um, let me just duplicate this one to create a new type of this uh, floor. So select duplicate. Alright, so for this one, I'm just going to delete this and then I'm just going to type concrete, uh, uh, let's say metal or let's say steel. Okay, so I'll just type metal deck. Okay, so 6 inches concrete metal deck. And then I'll select here, OK. So I now have another type of that uh, floor. Now, let us edit this one. So let's go to the edit. Because as you can see, we only have one layer here, which is this big chunk of our structure, the 6 inches one. So as you can see in our function, if you click the drop down arrow here, you can see different types of function. And then this is structural deck. I think this is one of the newest feature of Revit. Uh, 2021. I don't know if I have this in Revit 2020, but I only see this at the moment here in Revit 2021. So you can check the Revit 2020 if you have the structural deck function there. But in other lower version of Revit, you will not be able to see the structural uh, deck one function. Okay, I saw I saw this on Revit 2021. Anyway, so we have different functions here. So let me just quickly uh, describe to you what are these functions are. So the first one is structural uh, structure one. So structure one, so this is the main layer that supports the remainder of the wall, floor, or the roof. Okay, so this is the layer that supports the remainder of the wall, floor, or the roof. So this is the it looks like this is the main layer okay and then you also have here substrate 2 so the substrate 2 so you select this function if you want to add a layer with a material such as like plywood or gypsum board which acts as a foundation for another material okay and then we also have the thermal air layer the number three so this layer provides insulation and prevents air penetration. So you can select this function if you want to provide a layer that uh, a layer for insulation and prevents air penetration. Now the other one here is uh, finish one. So typically this is the exterior layer function. Okay, and then the finish two number five. This is uh, this is the interior layer. Okay, this is the interior layer and then we also have here the membrane layer so a main uh, a, a membrane that commonly prevents vapor penetration so your membrane layer should have zero thickness so remember that all right and then the last one is if you want to add a layer with the structural deck functionality all right so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to click the number three here the number three layer and then I'm going to insert another layer. All right, so let's add a new layer. So insert, click that one, and then there's the one. So let's click this one. Let's change that to structural deck. 
So that's the preview. You can zoom in. Okay. So that's the preview. And then you can also change here the material. So since, let's say this is a metal, I'm going to click that ellipse button. Did you see it? So this one. So this is the ellipse button. So just click that one. And then you can type here metal and, and then look for metal deck material. So just select that one and then select here OK. There you go. Okay. So you don't need to specify here the thickness. Now you can also change here the deck profile of your uh, metal deck, the structural deck. You can change that type so you can click that. So let's say you can select this so you can see the preview here. Right? So you can see the different. Uh, deck profile. So I'll just use this one and then I'll just select here OK. There you go. And then I'll select here OK. All right, and another thing that I'm going to do is I want to offset my floor or the floor that we will be creating above the current level around 6 inches. Okay, I'm going to offset that. So I'm going to type 6 inches. There you go. And then here, we will be creating the boundary line using uh, pick supports. So let's select that one. And then I'm just going to pick first this boundary here, the vertical. So I'll just click one. Okay, you see that two lines here? Me, two lines here. So that's the direction of your uh, floor deck. So that's the span direction. Okay, vertically like this. Okay, and then I'll just pick here. So you know the drill. So make sure the boundary is close, no intersection, no overlapping, and make sure you trim that. So just like this one. So make sure this two is close. So I'm going to use the trim extent corner. So just click that one. You can pick here one. You can pick here two. Okay. So here this one one, and then this one as well two. Okay, there you go. All right, what else? So this one is clear. All right, so this one we need to trim as well. One, two. What else? All right, so this side here. So one, two. Okay, so let's pick supports. So click that. All right, so it's clean. No overlapping, no intersection there. All right, so for this one, let's use the trim again. Let's select this one. And where's the other end? Okay, two. There you go. Okay. Okay. So after that, so we are now ready to finish this one. So select finish edit mode. Just click that. There you go. And then select your modify. Okay. And it also includes the span direction, this cross here. Okay. So that's the uh, span direction symbol. So that's a one way slab. So if you are confused with this one, you can always delete that if you want. Okay. So just select and then delete. Okay. Okay. So let's check this one out in our 3D view. So let's select 3D. And there you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think we have a problem here. So let's double check. Let's check the bottom here. All right. So as you can see, it it didn't cut the floor here. We can't see anymore the the opening that we have created last time here. So what I'm going to do is see I can't see the opening anymore. So I'm going to select the uh, shaft opening that we created, which is uh, this this one. So this is the shaft opening. So click that cut. And then what you can do is um, you can actually drag that down all the way down. So I just pass it down. Okay, there you go. Oops, I think that's too much. So I undo. <laughs> okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'll just click again. And then change the base offset. So like, uh, let's say 2 feet. Let's try 2 feet. Okay. Apply. And then let's have a look again at the top. 
Okay, we still can't see it. Okay, let's select again. Oops. Sharp opening, uh, six feet. Oh, it should be negative, right? So minus two feet. Okay, so let's try that one out. Okay, and then let's check out W. There you go. So we can now see here the opening. Okay, so we just changed the base offset to minus two feet. All right, there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going back to level two. I'm going to, you can actually change here the detail level. I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say, uh, fine if you want. You can change that to fine. Okay, so that's the fine view. So that's the medium. And then here's the course. There you go. And let's try to create a section here. So I'm going to select this to create a section. So let's say I'll create a section here. Okay. And then let's click that and then right click, go to view. Okay. So you can zoom in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the detail level. So let's change to detail level. And then let's make it fine so we can see how it looks like here. So let me just zoom in. All right. So click, fine. There you go. Okay. So if it is too too thick, the line weight is too thick, so you want to turn off the line weight, you can turn on the thin line. So click that to be able to see like that one. So you can change the view to, let's say, shaded view. And there you have it. Okay. There you go. So I'm going to select tile views and there you have it. Okay. Right. So that's it for creating our uh, concrete floor with steel backing. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you in a second. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.